Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex quick look. I'm going to take a look at the euro versus US dollar. So let's get started. Although yields are uh, lower and near their lows, the, uh, the price of the euro versus US dollar has gone to the downside and uh, that increases the dollar's value. Uh, and uh, as you can see, we are tr uh, trading to new session lows uh, for the week as I speak. And in, and in the process is moving closer to it's 100 bar moving average on the four hour chart that comes in at 1.07908. We're also uh, moving below the 108 level, the natural level there. And uh, finally, uh, below this uh, swing area here between 1.0803, 1.0824, that level goes back uh, to, well, let me go, move in here uh, to this uh, area going back to the month of November and then. December and then uh, the market moved higher and came back down toward that level got a little messy through here and found that level as resistance and once again over the last few weeks seen the price move above above and below that level maybe uh, it's getting below the 100 bar moving average that we need to see in this uh, currency pair but in the process of you know looking uh, looking uh, at these moving averages here we fell below the 200 day moving average that's this green line right here we fell below the 200 bar moving average on the four hour chart we fell below the 100 day moving average all those things have tilted the bias more to the downside here for the euro euro versus us dollar so sellers are making a play and we're making new lows for the week in the process the so next level to get to get below is this uh, 100 bar moving average we'll see if that can happen in the next a uh, few hours of trading in trading here today or do we find support buyers and push back up to support the moving averages but uh, as we sit right now the bias has shifted most uh, definitely more to the downside. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.